Today, I'm going to be drilling holes in my bike. Yes, you heard me. Drilling actual holes in my bike. It sounds wrong and I've never thought about taking a drill to my bike before, but it's an actual thing. Let me tell you more. Some of you may or may not have heard of drilling before, but drilling basically involves drilling lots of holes into bike parts in bid to drop precious grams from your bike. But not only that, it does look pretty cool too, when it's done properly. Not too bad. Many people think of the 1970s as the drillium decade, but it started long before that and continues long after, even to today. Many cyclists will associate drillium with Alf Engers, a very successful UK time trialist from the 1950s to the 1980s. He inspired a lot of UK cyclists to adopt the drillium to their bikes, as it was believed that reducing weight from the bike was the best advantage for time trials. That was before they knew about aerodynamics. Having done some research, drillium does look pretty cool. When it's done properly, that is. As I said today, I'm going to be giving that a go, and my main goal is not to f it up. How hard can it be? Drilling a few holes in a bike? What could go wrong? I'll just leave that there for a minute. <laughs> I'm going to see how much weight I can lose with making the bike look pretty cool too. I'll be weighing the bike at the start and at the finish to see how much weight I can lose. Right, what am I going to need for this project? First up, a bike. No, no, not a super bike. A cheap bike. I picked this up for £100 to do my 100 mile challenge on and it's going to be perfect for the project. And if it survives, maybe we can think of some more things to put the poor thing through. Let me know in the comment section what we'd like to do next. Anyway, back to it. I'm going to need a drill. A drill press or a hand drill will do. I have a hand drill today. A drill press would be easier and steadier, but hand drill will have to do today. I'm also going to need lots of different drill bits in lots of different sizes. Going to need some sandpaper, a permanent marker to mark the holes where I'm going to be drilling, lots of different wrenches and allen keys to take the bike bits off, and some sexy safety goggles. This actually scares me. Drilling holes in my beloved cheap bike is on its last legs after its 100 mile bike ride anyway, so I'm not sure how it's going to cope with holes being drilled in it. But before we start, GCN disclaimer. Do not try this at home. Drilling holes in critical parts of bike components can lead to failure. I'm going to try my very best for this not to happen today because I actually really like my cheap bike and I'd like to keep it, so I'm not going to go crazy. Right, so first things first, I need to weigh the bike to see what our starting weight is. So, watch my arms shake. 12.45 kilos. Let's see what I can lose. Project, I'm going to start by drilling holes in the chain rings and on the brake levers and see where I go from there. But how many holes is too many? I'm picturing my bike looking a bit like Swiss cheese. Let's get started. So I'm going to take the chain rings apart and take this bash guard off. So I'm just going to undo the bolts here. So I've taken the chain set apart, I'm going to start by marking holes into the bash guard. Now I reckon I'm going to try and get as many holes as I can into this because this doesn't really serve much structural purpose, so let's get marking. So I did some maths and the circumference of the basher is 66 centimetres. So I'm going to try and drill a hole every two centimetres, which is going to equal 33 holes, hopefully. So I've got my 34 holes in my basher and I'm gonna start drilling now, so... God, I'm a little bit scared. Who trusts me to do this? 
So this is quite hard work and um, six holes down, a lot of holes to go. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's a little bit bent where I've had the wood resting on it because we needed something to clamp it down and this wasn't really doing it. So we had to put the wood on and now it's a little bit bent, but I'm hoping as I move it around, it'll flatten out a bit. I hope. So I've got three more holes to drill and it's taken a lot longer than I thought. I might have to rethink my plans for the chain rings. So next up, our victim is the little ring. And for this, I'm gonna go on the very inner bit and I'm gonna change the drill bit size to a slightly smaller one. And I'm gonna do obviously a lot less holes on this one because chain ring is a vital part to the bike. So I'm gonna drill two holes in between each of the two big holes here. So 10 holes on here in total. And this metal is quite a bit thicker and tougher than the old basher. So let's see if my arms can hold up. As you've probably noticed so far by watching this video, my drilling skills are not the best and I've just proven that by doing it very close to the edge. Yeah, it's just not the best. So I think I'm gonna go with another hole in between each hole that I've already done. I was thinking about doing a bigger hole, but because I've kind of messed it up a little bit by going too close to the edge, I can't really do that. So I think it could cope with another hole in between each hole. So let's have a go at that. Taking another look at the inner chain ring, I reckon I can fit a few more little holes in. So I've gone for two more in between each section. So each section's gonna have five holes. So let's get drilling. So I've got a, a few out of line, but it's not too bad. This is my first attempt at doing anything like this. So, and actually only my second attempt with a drill after my uh, bike stand. But yeah, not bad. There's, there's room for improvement, definitely. Because this is the basher, and it's not a vital component to the bike, I reckon I could get a few more holes in here on these little arms. So with a slightly smaller drill bit, I reckon I can get two or three on each one. I think the technique is to drill slowly to begin with just so it gets the hang of it and then once you know you're in the right place then you speed it up finally got finally got the hang of it i know what i'm doing now is what we like to see quite happy with that now moving on to the big ring i've marked out five holes on each little bit. So, you know what time it is. Not too bad. So I was pretty happy just drilling the chain and the basher, but my cameraman has had other ideas and he thinks it's a good idea to drill him through the crank arm. Now, I'm not sure if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but we haven't got anything to lose, so we're going to try it. Oh, we're through. We have a hole. Three holes. Drive side. Pretty happy with them. I think I get good idea. Very good idea. Now time to put my crank set back onto the bike. Hopefully weigh in a little bit less. Let's see. <sighs> Hardest bit, getting the cranks on. So I managed to get the crank set back on and because this has taken a lot longer than I thought it would take me, there's, there's a lot of holes to drill. We're gonna try and do the brake levers now and see where that gets us. Got our levers off. Gonna, they're quite nice, I don't want to spoil them. Nice gold levers. So I'm gonna mark up some holes and you guessed it, get drilling again. <laughs> 
So my drill bit has actually snapped in half. I've just got, my arms are just too strong for the drill bits. <laughs> for, the, for the small bits anyway. But. So I've drilled both the levers. One's half decent, one's terrible. I've done some sort of wave with the holes. So I'm not gonna show you that one because, I mean, this one isn't perfect, but it's kind of straight. Straight in my eyes anyway. <laughs> Get them back on the bike. Right, so everything's back on, cranks back on, levers back on. I think it's time to give it a final weigh in. So 12.36 grams. So if my maths is correct, that's 90 grams saved, and that's probably about a bowl of cereal. I mean, it's not loads, but if you already had a lightweight bike and you were aiming to do hill climbs and you wanted the lightest bike as possible, then this could be an option, but for me, when this bike is not built to climb hills and it's already quite heavy, bless it, it's, it's probably not a lot. For me, my personal aim was not to break the bike and I think I have succeeded. I haven't drilled too many holes and it is still rideable. I know it's not the neatest, but it was my first time doing anything like this and my second time using an actual drill. But I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you think it looks cool? Do you think it's worth it? Or do you think it's a complete absolute bodge? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, let us know if you'd like to see anything else like this again.